Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense and I'm coming at you guys with two first impressions today. I've had these actually for a while. I just haven't been able to get the time to unbox these and do this first impression. So first up, Dolce & Gabbana K Eau de Parfum. Now, I wasn't a big fan of the original K, the original Eau de Toilette. Didn't like it. Didn't like it at all actually. But this one I think has the potential to be better. I like the note breakdown in this one. A couple of people have told me that they like it, so really interested to check this one out and see if it's a big improvement over the last one. And I've also got Bulgari Man Glacial Essence, the newest flanker in the Bulgari Man line. Of course, the uh, Wood Essence and Wood Neroli fragrances were pretty well received overall. So this one got high hopes for. Of course, I'm assuming both of these are gonna be summertime fragrances and kind of wrapping up summer right now, but. That's fine. Each one of these I bought at full retail from Ulta. And actually my local Ulta didn't have these. So I had to order them off the internet, got them in, but just been too busy until now. So let's check these out. Okay, let's do the uh, Dolce & Gabbana first. Dolce & Gabbana K Eau de Parfum. So with this one, I know it's got some notes in there that I'm interested to see how they shake out. For example, Fig. Don't see that super often in designer fragrances. In case anybody's interested in the future, the batch code here is 0055BM. Okay, quick look at the presentation here, guys. The box doesn't have too much going on. It's got kind of a navy blue coloration to it with the Dolce & Gabbana name and then crown here on the front sizing concentration down there at the bottom dg at the top nothing on the sides then on the back your ingredient info on the bottom your batch code mark code and then the bottle is in the same style as the eau de toilette only this time the crown is silver and the bottle a bit darker if you hate the original case presentation you're probably going to hate this one if you love the original you'll love this one because it's pretty much the same that being said i do like the way this one looks just a little bit more. I like the coloration. All right, let's spray this one on. With designer fragrances, especially ones like this, that opening is super important. You wanna have an opening that's really attention grabbing. You want it to be the kind of opening that you keep coming back to over and over and over again. And typically fragrances like this, these really mass appealing versatile fragrances have openings that are just super appealing. From memory, it's not really extremely far removed from the Eau de Toilette. It's got that K DNA in there, if you want to call it that, but it is more appealing here to me. In the opening, this one is a little bit smoother and overall smells a little bit more put together than the Eau de Toilette did to my nose. So the EDT for me was really not very good. I didn't like the way it smelled. I got the whole mass appeal of it, the ease of use of the fragrance, but it just didn't smell like it was really very high quality fragrance in comparison to a lot of things that would be competing against. And so for me, it was a pretty easy pass. So in the opening here, I'm not getting any fig, getting citrus. So there's blood orange and a couple different lemon notes, I believe. Get more lemon than I do blood orange. And there's a good amount of juniper in here. It's brisk, it's fresh, it's definitely clean. Uh, there's nothing in here dirty whatsoever. It's maybe a little bit richer than the Eau de Toilette and to me smells kind of like an evolution of that scent, you know, like baby steps from that scent. This isn't really taking it and trying to reinvent it. This is doing an Eau de Parfum the way that like Bleu de Chanel Eau de Toilette went to Eau de Parfum. So Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum didn't come out and smell wildly different from Bleu de Chanel, the EDT. And that's what's going on here. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Just kind of letting you know how this one goes because sometimes you'll have fragrances come out and it's like the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum are completely different. Like they barely share any similarities. That's not the case here. Some of those notes in the mid seem like they're coming out a decent amount. Geranium, lavender, clary sage. And uh, yeah, this one is not actually really all that much darker than the EDT to me. Pretty much would be used in the same situations same seasons, just maybe a little bit richer. Go ahead and open this one up. Bulgari Man, Glacial Essence. This one I feel like may have been better coming out earlier in the summer if it's gonna smell the way that I expect, because this would be one 
for like the dog days of summer when it's really hot. Again, just based off of how I'm expecting it to smell, it could smell completely different. Let's take a quick look at the presentation here. You got the name of the fragrance, size and concentration, all that right on the front. Nothing on the top, nothing on the sides. Ingredients on the back, batch code on the bottom. And your batch code, 20K41D2. It's pretty long. And here's the presentation. And I actually like the way this one looks. It comes in your standard Bulgari Man bottle. It's got a little bit of a gradient where it's uh, darker blue at the bottom, goes up to clear at the top. Subtle, looks nice. You've got this white topper here, again, kind of giving you that, that feeling of cool ice. Because again, that's the name, Glacial Essence. Could actually simulate a glacier here in the bottle. Maybe reading into it too much, but you get the idea. On the top of the atomizer, little white piece here matches the top of the bottle. And then on the bottom, your sticker with your batch code. Let's go ahead and give this one a spray. Ooh, I sprayed it directly onto a scratch on my arm. Immediately stings. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I get it. I get that icy feeling. Super clean, brisk, refreshing, and cooling. Maybe even more so than something like Dior Homme Cologne or Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Those fragrances well known for being fragrances that kind of give you a cooling effect when you spray them on. They have kind of a lemonade, like an iced lemonade vibe to them. This one doesn't have that, but it does have a chilling effect to it. To me, bunches of ginger and juniper right off the top. Those two just hand in hand, right off the bat. One thing this is not is dense. It doesn't smell like there's a whole lot of oomph behind this. This could potentially be the type of fragrance that mellows down pretty quickly. Now, I don't know that for sure. I've just sprayed it on for the first time, but that's how it's coming across. I like it though. It's nice, nice kind of change of pace sort of fragrance for uh, summertime on the really hot days. So underneath the juniper and ginger, there's this really clean, modern woods, musky thing going on. Really, really pleasant. It's not something that immediately like grabs my attention and refuses to let go, but it is a nice change of pace kind of fragrance, as I mentioned before. Something that when it's really hot, you spray it on, you know there's a 0% chance it's going to offend anybody. It's gonna be clean, it's gonna make you feel maybe a little bit cool down for just a couple seconds. It's gonna be a pleasant fragrance to wear. It's not really the kind of fragrance that's trying to be super complex. You're not picking up you know, nuances here and there and here and there. It's not rapidly changing on my skin and having these different things pop out, but I like it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work back through these one more time, starting with K Eau de Parfum after it's been given just a little bit of time to settle down. Okay, some more sweetness has come out. So it's not really the type of fragrance I would consider sweet off the top. I mean, there's a little bit there, but it's not the kind of fragrance that I would smell and go, ooh, that's really sweet, but it's coming out more as it's settling in on my skin. And I've got to say, hands down, I prefer the Eau de Parfum. Would I choose this though over some of the other fragrances this is going up against? Like, why? <laughs> why so why? D and G, K. I would rather wear Y Eau de Parfum than K Eau de Parfum. I'd rather wear Blue de Chanel. I'd rather wear uh, Sauvage. So for me, it's, it's still beneath those three, which are probably the big three, but this is kind of slotting in just, just right underneath those for me, at least off this first impression. And Glacial Essence. Yeah, the opening is fleeting, very fleeting. That juniper, ginger, icy sort of blast, you know, 10 minutes, 10 minutes and that's worn off. I'm getting now mainly geranium and those clean musky woods. That's mainly what I'm getting here. Little hint of soapiness, like some soapy cleanliness to the fragrance. You know, it's not bad, but it's, it's not something that is worth retail. And actually retail wise, these are both pretty expensive. I think that these were right in the $120 range for the two of them per fragrance. So all said, uh, it was like, what was it, 250, somewhere around there for these two. Um, I'm not sure of the exact amount, but I know it was right around there. So these designer fragrances at retail are going up and up and up, it feels like. Bleu de Chanel, again, a Chanel fragrance, and I'm talking to EDT, was uh, I believe, or right now, 
is 77 for 50 mil and 97, I think, for a 100 mil, which means that these are more expensive than Bleu de Chanel. Again, the Eau de Toilette. And these are technically Eau de Parfum, so it just really feels like prices on these designers is, yeah, it's working its way up there. Realistically, I would wait for both of these to pop up at discounters. If you really want one though, I mean, go for it. If it's gonna make you happy, that's what's most important. Between these two, first impression wise, I like this one more. I feel like this one has a little more going on. This one actually somehow seems a little more interesting than this one. I like the initial opening more of this, but it fades really quickly. And as this starts to dry down, a little bit of sweetness comes out and it makes it nicer. And really the type of person looking for this may be also looking for this. So yeah, this one between these two. All right guys, it's gonna do it for me. I'll give these some more wear as I can and get a review out for them when I can. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.